Hello, Prairie Point students and parents who are enrolled in the Prairie Point Temporary Virtual Learning Option. We have a couple hundred students out of 1,300 in the building that have selected to be temporary virtual for the entire semester this semester, and it is off to a great start. There are a lot of you that are making amazing strides in academic progress towards your goals of passing your classes for this first semester. Ms. Schultz and Ms. Tracy, as supporting teachers, along with many other teachers, are chipping in to make sure that you get the best possible experience and make progress towards your academic goals while you're on the temporary virtual learning option. As we're doing this for the first time, we are building and trying to find the best way to maintain communication with you and your family. In terms of the first quarter, I want to talk about where we are at right now. The This week on Friday is October 2nd. There are one, two, three more Fridays before the fourth Friday from now, which is the end of quarter one. Quarter two will be starting that ends in January 15th of 2021. So that is coming up here, uh, the end of the first quarter. And a lot of you are on pace to pass all of your first quarter classes and move on to your second quarter courses. That is awesome. In general, you need to put a certain amount of hours in per day and per week. That amounts to maybe somewhere between two and four hours a day for a total of 10 to 20 hours per week. And in terms of no total assessments completed, it really just depends on what grade level you're in and what courses you are taking. But we are instituting a new policy now to help support you and make sure that you, and if you're a mom or dad, if your student is making progress. And this is called Academic Watch. Out of our couple hundred students participating, we have a few students who are not making academic progress, not logging in enough, and not moving forward, not even attempting enough work in order to complete these courses on time. So what we are going to do on a weekly basis, we are looking for any students who have five or more overdue assignments. Now, if you are on a Friday and you are at five or more overdue that are past your deadline, you are entering a phase called academic watch. And you will be notified of this. Parents will be notified of this by your teacher that you are off pace. If you continue on that pace, you will not finish your classes and receive the credits that you need. So if you are five or more overdue, then you will be on academic watch. Now again, the summary of this conversation is in the document that is accompanying this video. Okay, so that document is available with all of these things spelled out, but the video is here to try to help provide some clarity and understanding for if your student is entering into academic watch. So the way the process will work is on that Friday, on any Friday starting October 2nd, October 9th, October 16th, we, you will be identified if your student is five or more courses off pace. This is something they can certainly catch up on if they put the work in, if they ask the questions, and if they work with their academic temporary virtual learning advisor. Okay, If they do not, by the next week, get go under the five overdue assignment uh, threshold, then they will be contacted by myself, a guidance counselor, a principal, someone from the administration department to find out what is going on. If your student is not getting back on pace, if they are falling behind the process, we will have to consider another option for enrollment. We have a certain number of seats that we are able to facilitate here in the Prairie Point temporary virtual learning option. And if your student is not taking advantage by not doing the work, we'll have to talk about other options. Okay, So this could include a truancy conversation. You know, if your student was attending school this year and not coming to school, then the truancy process and truancy officer would be notified. This could happen as well if your student is not logging in and not engaging in the temporary virtual learning as well. So if you have questions about this, again, this is not meant to be heavy handed. This is meant to be a supporting structure to make sure that your student does not fall behind. All right. It's very important to us that your student makes progress and moves forward academically. And so that is why we are having the system in place. If you have questions, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to your student's academic advisor, advisory teacher. You can reach out to any of the supporting staff here at Prairie Point. We want to answer your questions. We want your student on pace and we need to know if they are having a problem doing so. So again, this temporary virtual learning is an opportunity that is available for your student, and we do not want them to lose that opportunity because they are not doing the work. They are not taking advantage of this amazing chance. Okay. Again, ask if you have problems. The best possible thing you can do is ask early and often so that we can support you as you move forward. So again, in the document, you're going to read these processes about how we're going to move forward with our academic watch list. And that includes being five or more overdue assignments behind and every Friday checking to make sure that you have not slipped over that threshold. If you have, we will have to have a conversation about academic watch. If it's not improved, then, then you will be reached out to by a member of the point administration team and we will consider other options for your students' enrollment and continuation in this semester's work. But again, this is an opportunity that we want you to enjoy and to gain 
um, from. So please read the attached document. Reach out if you have questions or concerns. We are here for you, our temporary virtual learners. Thank you.